Everybody knows that if you surf the web long enough, you'll see some pretty sick shit. This is especially true if you intentionally dwell into the dark underbelly of the internet. I've seen quite a few things that I don't care to admit to, but one thing that I'll always remember is a site called normalpornfornormalpeople.com. The first strange thing about the site is that I didn't find it by actually looking for it. It was emailed to me by somebody I didn't know. The email was as follows. Hi there. Found this site is very nice. Thought you might like. Normalpornfornormalpeople.com Pass it on for the good of mankind. Pretty standard issue chain letter, although the URL in the last remark... I'll admit, piqued my curiosity. I was having a very boring day when I got this, so I made sure my antivirus was working, and I clicked on it. It was a very average, very generic looking site. It gave the impression that the creators just barely gave a shit about making it look professional. The author seemed to have a very tenuous grasp on English, and on the front page was a long and boring, incoherent rant that I don't remember or have saved. The site had a strange tagline, which even today people haven't figured out the meaning of. Normal Porn for Normal People, a website dedicated to the eradication of abnormal sexuality. And from the sound of that, I wasn't sure whether I was here to watch porn or if I had stumbled onto some kind of eugenics program. But I was here now. And I was very, very curious to see what normal people got their rocks off to. So I scroll down through the rant and... Nothing. The page didn't seem to link to anywhere else. And I was about to leave when I noticed every word of the rant was its own hyperlink. So I clicked one of them and was sent to a white page with a very long list of links in the form of normalpornfornormalpeople.com slash random letters. So I stopped for a minute and asked myself if I really wanted to waste God knows how much time clicking random links that will likely give me a virus that would rape my computer. I figured I'd just try it for maybe five minutes, just to see if anything came up. I clicked one of the links and was sent to another page. This page apparently had totally different URLs than the last one. I was just about to say fuck this when I clicked on the third link, and a video download came up. It was called peanut.avi. It was a 30-minute video of a man, a woman, and a dog in a kitchen. The woman would make a peanut butter sandwich and the man would set it down for the dog to eat. This was all that happened for 30 minutes. It was obvious that the cameraman had to stop filming and wait until the dog was ready to eat again and the dog seemed rather sick by the end of it. I know what you're thinking. What the hell does this have to do with porn? And that's just it. I have no clue. I've seen a little over two dozen videos from the site, and the majority have no sexual activity at all. After watching Peanut.avi, I went on a certain image board I frequent to play online show and tell, like I always do with weird shit like this. But someone had already made a thread about it. Some guy who had received the same chain letter that I did. The image board thread got lots of people with nothing better to do to dig through the site. And that's how I saw other videos. Most of those two dozen videos were very uneventful and consisted of people talking to the cameraman in a room with nothing in it but a desk and a few chairs. I mean, literally, nothing on the walls or in terms of furniture. The whole room had a very cold, sterile feel to it. 
The conversations were just idle banter about previous jobs or embarrassing childhood moments. I kept expecting some kind of discussion about what the people were filming or what the site was about, but of course, nothing. You would never know these videos had anything to do with porn if you saw it out of context. I will say one thing, though. The people who appeared in the videos were quite attractive. However, the other videos that actually did feature content, which I suppose could be called sexual, is actually where things got even weirder, if you can believe that. I'll give brief descriptions of the stranger videos. If you're really eaten up with curiosity, you can try to hunt them down on a torrent site. LickedClean.avi A 10-minute video filmed by a hidden camera in which we see a repairman working on a washing machine for the first two minutes. When it's fixed, the repairman talks to the owner briefly and then leaves. The owner checks to make sure he's gone and then begins to lick all over the top of the washing machine. This goes on for seven minutes. Jimbo.avi A five-minute video of an obese mime performing his act. It was actually pretty funny, particularly one part where he pretends to pull up a chair then pretends that it breaks because of his weight. In the last 30 seconds of the video, the camera cuts to static briefly and cuts back to the man sobbing quietly, still wearing the mime outfit and makeup. Maybe some kind of obscure fetish? Diana.avi A four-minute video in which the cameraman talks to a woman in a room different from the interview room. This room looks like one you'd find in a normal person's house. Exactly where they are is never specified, as Diana only talks about her violin playing. She obviously plays her violin, but she keeps getting distracted by something. I didn't notice this until somebody on the image board thread pointed it out, but if you look at the mirror in the background, you can see a fat man in a chicken mask, masturbating. Jessica.avi Another four-minute video. This time, the cameraman's outside a house, talking to another young woman. They talk about canoe rides. The camera zooms out to reveal the city streets behind them occasionally. The strange thing is, no one so far has been able to identify where this street is. Guesses have ranged anywhere from Europe to Australia to the Philippines, but there's yet to be a match for where the street shown in the video. Tongtai.avi Ten minute video. First five minutes consist of an elderly woman making out with a mannequin. The video cuts out like it did in Jimbo.avi halfway through. And the scene is now of a group of mannequins huddled together in a circle around the camera. The lights have been dimmed, and the elderly woman is nowhere to be seen. From this point on, there is no sound. Stumps.avi Five minute long video where a man with no legs is attempting to break dance on a DDR mat in what looks like the kitchen from Peanut.avi, but much dirtier. There's a radio playing music unseen in the background, but it stops at the four minute mark when the man collapses on the mat in exhaustion. He breathes heavily and pleads with somebody off-screen to let him rest. This off-screen person becomes terrifyingly enraged and yells at him to keep dancing, which he does. You can hear his off-screen person begin to scream as the video ends abruptly. Privacy.avi The woman from Diana.avi is masturbating on a mattress in the interview room, while the man from Stumps.avi walks around on his hands while wearing some kind of goblin mask. The door in this room was always closed in other videos, but now it's open. In this video, the only light is in the room, and the hallway is dark. Near the end of the video, you can see an animal quickly run through the hallway. And finally, the last video I uncovered. Useless.avi in this 18-minute video, a blonde woman from one of the previous interview videos is tied down to a mattress in the interview room. She attempts to scream, but her mouth is taped over. After seven minutes, a man in a black suit and mask opens the door, but he does not enter. He holds the door open for the animal that was running in the hall in the previous video. It's revealed to be an adult chimpanzee, its hair shaved and its entire body painted red. When the chimp enters the room, the masked man closes the door behind it. 
The chimpanzee sniffs the air for a moment, it may have been blind, and notices the woman tied to the mattress. It goes into a frenzy and begins to maul her. The assault goes on for a grueling seven minutes until the woman finally dies. The chimp eats flesh from her corpse for four minutes as the video ends. The thread exploded with activity after this video was uncovered, and people discussed it long into the night. When I came back to the image board the next day, I found that the thread had been deleted. I tried to start another one, and they banned me. I tried emailing the guy who sent me the chain letter with the site's URL, sent him five messages, and never got any response. I have tried to discuss this website on various places, and I get banned frequently. The site itself was also deleted about three days after useless.avi was uncovered, likely because someone contacted the authorities about it. The only proof that normalpornfornormalpeople.com ever existed was a few screen caps people took and videos from the site that people saved and uploaded on torrents, the most popular of which being useless.avi, which found its way onto a few gore sites. Wherever you upload them to, all of the videos from normalpornfornormalpeople.com get deleted after a while. However, if you're brave enough, you may just fancy a visit to such a site. Who knows? Maybe somebody was sick enough to bring it back to life.